Well, if I'm writing fiction, then it's usually drawn on from people that I know or people that I've observed and then I just sort of weave little universes around each of them, things that I find interesting. But it usually sort of delves off into their careers and a love story that crops up somewhere in between and then maybe some family drama added as each character tries to accomplish their own goal. So usually I start writing every morning. Um, actually a professor of mine, Charles Siebert, told me that always take out a little piece of a writer that you really admire and want to emulate and then read them for a little bit, try and imbibe their voice and as the emotions start sort of flowing through you and visuals start coming to you, you start stringing the words together on paper. I think I have a total control freak complex when it comes to writing. It's, it's like I see a moment in reality that I really enjoy or that I want to savor or prolong for a little bit or that I want to live in for a little longer and then I take that moment and make it a world that I'd like to live in. So definitely my writing has characters and people that I'd want to meet and stories that I'd like to turn out a certain way. Right now, I guess it would be Somerset Mom, um, PJ Woodhouse, uh, Oscar Wilde, um, a lot of Brit wit basically. Um, my favorite, then I have a lot of like old Indian writers that I really look up to, like Rabindranath Tagore and um, Chitra Banerjee Deva Karuni and Devdat Patnayak. Um, a um, mix from all over the world. Jane Austen, oh, I love her so much. Um, kind of want to be her, except she died a uh, spinster at 35. Kind of don't want to be that. Stories, <laughs> poetry, and scripts. Um, I feel like scripts are easier for me now because it's easier to translate a script into something that will be seen by people so you sort of derive a sense of satisfaction from the fact that someone is listening to your stories in a way because um, movies are a more interactive form of media they're easily communicated and uh, it's really depressing if you have like a laptop full of stories that nobody's ever read or nobody's ever going to read except for you so I definitely think movies are my most prominent outlet now for writing. With storytelling, I think just um, I've been in a position where I haven't enjoyed my particular reality at that moment in time and this quote from J.K. Rowling keeps coming back to me which is that um, as long as I have a book I know I have some place I can go and be happy. So it can, a book or a story can just generally alter your reality for a particular period of time so beautifully and so immediately that I just feel like I'd love, love to give other people the kind of closure that I've got from pieces of fiction um, through my stories. Um, well, moving to Abu Dhabi per se has obviously exoticized my writing with like the most cliched romantic elements of the Middle East. So I guess a lot more of the desert and sleeping under the stars and the sands and stuff like that features in my writing. But more importantly, coming to this university and interacting with people that have of nationalities that I didn't know exist. Um, have changed, have just changed my characters in writing. 
um, in an interesting way actually because now I feel like I'm writing I mean I have the authenticity to write about people from countries that I am not a native of but still the plots remain sort of the same because on on getting to know these different people I realized that we're all basically primarily the most human the most we still have the same most human problems ever like all my friends have the same fears as I do and we're all trying to sort of function in a equally weird society we're all so fundamentally human despite all our differences I mean this sounds a bit cliche but despite the color of our skin and the way we look and stuff um, we're all sort of driven by the same motivations human beings want love and they want food and money and ambition and a sense of purpose at the end of the day and it's just interesting how that translates to various cultures so I feel like coming here has given me the authenticity and honesty that I would need to represent another culture in a book. So over the summer I wrote a book <laughs> that was a, it was a romance novel of sorts but mostly I think it's just a coming of age contemporary novel of two human beings trying to understand the world around them and each other and sort of looking for safety and solace within each other as they navigate a changing world um, and I don't know I hope to get it published soon uh, other than that I wrote a children's TV show in India and that's coming out in October so I'm really excited for that um, yeah, that's about it. Um, make time to read or watch movies. It makes your day just that much better. Imbue it with a little imagination. <laughs>